Hi there, my name is Christian Gowdy, and welcome to part one of three in the, in the tutorial series of setting up an Android development environment. In this episode, we will be installing the Sun JDK version 6 update 31 in Ubuntu 11.10. Uh, to begin, we're going to download the JDK version 6 update 31. To do this, we'll open up a web browser and search for JDK. And hit enter. And here we have Java SE downloads. Go ahead and click on that. And we'll scroll down until we see Java SE 6 update 31. Click download under JDK. Scroll down and click accept license agreement. Now, what you're going to be downloading here is going to be different depending on your system. If you're running a 32 bit Linux system, you'll be selecting this download right here, Linux x86. And you're going to want the .bin version without the dash RPM beforehand, because that would be for a Debian system, or a Debian-like system. And if you're a 64-bit system running on Ubuntu, you're going to be picking this right here, the x64.bin. Since I'm right now running a 32-bit machine, I'll be selecting this to download. Go ahead and click it and now it begins downloading. In the meantime, let's go ahead and download a few things before uh, like before this finishes downloading, so we'll have things ready for future tutorials. So open up a new tab and type developer.android.com strike enter. Next we'll click here, the SDK tab and click right here for Linux i386, so 32-bit Linux. And there is no 64-bit version, so if you're running a 64-bit machine, you're going to be downloading this as well. So go ahead and click this, and it begins downloading. And next we're going to be downloading the Eclipse IDE. So go ahead and open a new tab, and search for Eclipse, and strike enter. And go ahead and click this link here first, eclipse.org and click downloads and we're going to be downloading Eclipse Classic and you're going to pick 32-bit or 64-bit Linux I'm picking 32-bit and select the mirror right here this might not send the same thing on your system but that's okay just if it says United States HTTP go ahead and click on it and that begins downloading now since we have the JDK fully downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install it. So, what we want to do right now is open up a terminal window and navigate to our downloads folder. So we're going to type cd tilde slash downloads. Type ls and you'll see that you're in your downloads folder and right here we have the JDK 6 update 31 uh, script file so what we're going to be doing is uh, changing permissions on that file to allow us to execute it so to do that we'll type chmod space a plus x space jdk dash 6 u 31 dash linux dash i586 dot bin and just to be clear if you're downloading a 64-bit version this would be saying dash x64 instead of dash i586 so just type what you see all right so strike enter all right we've made it executable and next thing we'll do is type dot slash jdk dash 6 u31 dash Linux dash i586 dot bin. Let's try counter. Okay, the package will start inflating and extracting itself into its own folder. So just allow it to do that. And eventually it will be asking us to hit enter, and we'll be doing that once it prompts us to.
Okay, go ahead and hit enter. Okay, we're done. Now, well, with that part. <laughs> Next, we're going to be moving the folder with the JDK to the default storage location for it. To do that, we'll be typing sudo space mv space jdk 1.6.0 underscore 31 space slash usr slash lib slash java dash sorry, slash jvm slash java dash six dash sum. Okay, so make sure it looks just like this. The user lib jvm java dash six dash sum. Go ahead and hit enter. Okay, now we we'll need to type in our user account password. Okay, so now it's been moved. Now, what we're going to want to do next is download a script to make the system recognize that you've just installed uh, the new version of the JDK. So what we'll type is wget wget space http colon slash slash web up d8 so web update dot google code dot com slash files slash update dash java dash 0.5b and hit enter as you can see here it's completely downloaded so we're ready to go we're going to type chmod plus x update dash java dash 0.5b so we're just going to be changing the permissions again to make this executable. Hit enter. Okay, now we're going to be having dot slash update dash java dash 0.5b. Hit enter. Okay, this is the right here. And what we're going to be doing with it is as you can see, you have the OpenJDK installed right now. And what we want is our java-6-sun that we've just downloaded and moved into the user libjvm folder. So we're going to click the radio button under choose for that version and strike OK. We're going to be typing in our user password. And now this will run its course. So it's just going to be updating the alternatives of your system to let it know that you want what's in here to be your default job installation. So this will take a little while. So once that completes, we'll move on and we'll be checking to make sure that the correct version is now the default. And then we'll be, for completeness, uh, removing the old Java browser plugin and installing the new plugin.
okay. Now that the command of the terminal has been returned to us, we're going to type in the command java space dash version and hit enter. Now we'll see 1.6.0 underscore 31 next to java version. And that is what we want. So that means that aspect is uh, completed, it's installed. And we're also going to check Java C space dash version, hit enter, and we see the same thing, 1.6.0 underscore 31. And that means it's been completely installed, you've finished the installation for Java 6 update 31. So now you have complete comp compatibility with the Android uh, development environment. Now just for completeness, so your, your browser plugin will work. Um, we're going to remove the old Java browser plugin and we'll do that by entering the following commands rm f space tilde slash dot mozilla slash plugins slash l i b n p j p 2 dot s o space tilde slash dot Mozilla slash plugins slash L I B Java plugin underscore O J I dot S O and hit enter. After that, we'll be typing in sudo RM dash F slash USR slash LIB slash Firefox slash plugins slash LIB N P J P two dot S O hit enter. Now we'll just hit the up arrow to get the same command again and delete this portion and in its place type lib j a v a p l u g i n so lib java plugin underscore o j i dot s o and hit enter okay and now to install the new plugin we're just going to be making a symbolic link to our installation and the following is for 32-bit systems and the only difference between a 32-bit system installation and a 64-bit system installation will be where I type I386, you'll be typing AMD64. Okay, so we'll be typing MKDIR space dash P space tilde slash dot Mozilla slash plugins Enter and type ln space dash s space slash usr slash lib slash jvm slash java dash six dash sun slash jre slash lib slash i three eight six so right there, 64-bit users will be typing AMD64 slash L I B N P J P two dot S O space tilde slash dot Mozilla slash plugins and hit enter. Okay, right there, you have just completed your installation of the Sun Java 6 Update 31. So right now you are ready to install everything else for Android development. All right, so I'll see you in uh, the second video tutorial in which we'll be installing the Android SDK. All right, thank you.